Oh, Richard, what have you gotten us into? Yes, Richard, what have you gotten us into? I, I don't... And that's a lot for love. We'll give it a shot. I told you all I couldn't sing. I told you. I told you. You don't believe me, but I told you. Anyway, let's stop with the shenanigans and get to the real heart of everything with Happy Camp Nano halfway there. Hope it's going great for you, lovelies. Take care of yourself. You're worth it. Talk it. Like a legend of today. Like a picture in a frame. We are unbreakable. April 1st. Hello, campers. <laughs> I'm exhausted. I didn't hardly sleep worth crap last night. Um, book three goes to my editor in eight hours. It's not ready. Like, I also know I could take an entire other week and it still wouldn't be ready. So today it's going to be hectic busy. So, um, same day. We're still on April 1st. I just did my chaos catch up sitting down with Soul Rider episode for the beginning of the month. I think I'm going to do them as my monthly change over every month from now on and do that on either the last day of the month or the first day of the month. Yes, I'm in a different shirt. I'm getting ready to change back into my AuthorTube writing conference one. I literally have about 15 or 20 minutes between videos today, um, this afternoon rather. I was on Shannon's uh, Productivity Pyramid Wars this morning and then did a bunch of stream frog and stream hop unity support of other people who are doing actual sprints today. And then I took that to finish up whatever I was going to get finished a book three. Literally, that's all I'm going to get finished to book three. There's so much more that I could have done, and there's nothing else I can do. Yes, I know it's going to sit for a whole weekend in my editor's inbox. I did that to myself on purpose. <laughs> I'm forcing myself to take a whole weekend off from it, basically. Um, before I, from the world, before I jump back into book four, Bound by Hope and Spirit for Vovery and Maria. And then, that's all done. That video could have gone way better. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I'm feeling it. I can't get enough liquid in my system today. I've already gone through two of these. I've already had a keto-friendly coffee first thing this morning. I've already had a plain black coffee because... Well, I got, I bought a keto friendly coffee for this morning and then made myself plain black coffee because I knew I wasn't going to sleep through this or I wasn't going to get through this without it because of lack of sleep. I am a clinical insomniac and I've tried everything under the sun. Lifestyle changes help better than medicine for me. Put it that way. I'm working on it. This happens every spring, every spring this happens. And this year it's worse because I didn't realize that. 10 weeks of pregnancy, so I was literally only one-fourth of the way through my pregnancy. I didn't realize that was long enough to give you post-pregnancy brain and postpartum depression. <laughs> I didn't think I had enough hormone in me, nor long enough. My brain is fried. I am more scatterbrained now than I ever was, so I'm trying to get things fixed before... <sighs> too much keeps happening. Author Tube writing conference kicks off now in 45 minutes. So I got to get in. So what order are you qu clicking those buttons? Tell me. Mm -hmm. And you can jump right into intro. Well, you could even bring yourself in, intro yourself, and then add me if, if you wanted to do it that way. And that spaces out your clicks a little and gives you a moment to breathe. Do it. You've got this. You've got this.
So, lovelies. I am going through and getting ready to click the send file for the pronunciations to my audiobook narrator. So, sent. Um, I want them to be able to share with that. Anyone with the link, share with that. Send. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Google, for doing your job correctly with the sendage in a private manner. I do not want that file. Well, I don't really care if that file becomes public. It's stuff that's already up on my YouTube channel, basically. Um, <clears throat> catching up on some marketing costs before I did that. So far, I have some stuff in ACX to catch up on. I have to finish a script that I need to color code and send off to Shannon for AuthorTube Writing Conference. Cha-cha-cha! Yeah. I'm thinking about getting that snazzy pint glass or water bottle for when I want water. This is not quite big enough once I put ice in it. Um, I had to wash this so I didn't start out with it this morning because I used it for like every single drink yesterday. I was literally like swapping back and forth between tea and coffee. Weird taste, not bad. The Scottish merchant in me didn't care too much, <clears throat> Ian, anyway, but I started off with one of my favorite mugs my husband's gotten me. Yes, I'm a fan of that YouTuber, Jacksepticeye. We do subscribe. No, I'm not sponsored, but I love this mug. It's a very, for the mornings when my carpal tunnel has my hands really locked up and stiff. It's a nice weighty mug. Um, so I definitely don't want to lose this one because they only make them um, every uh, every year a different design. Um, I do have mug merch because I have a mug obsession thanks to my mother. Um, I collect them. My brother George before he passed away got her a mug from every single state in the continental U.S. He was in a uh, long haul a truck driver my entire childhood. He started doing that when I was about a year or two old. He was doing the Maryland and Baltimore area locally with smaller trucks. And then when I was a couple years old, he went long haul. He loved it. He loved to travel. He literally loved that he had a job that allowed him to travel. Um, and every time he went to a state for the first time, he would stop at a store and get my mom a mug with something from that state. After he was killed in 2013 between my husband's grandmother our mom mine and his aunt Kathy we were able to get the two states mom was missing mom mine has visited Alaska multiple times and had an extra mug laying around she wasn't using too much willingly gifted it so I could give it to my mom. And then Aunt Kathy lives out on the toward the West Coast. And she actually worked a position that sent her to Hawaii on occasion. So she, of course, did not mind giving us a mug. So that collection is completed. Um, my brother George worked really hard on it. Uh, she has... What else is a part of that collection? There's a couple from Canada. A couple from Mexico. I think... Cody got her one when he went to Germany. Hello again, lovelies. It's still April 2nd. I've done a lot of vlogging today. A lot of administrative things got taken care of. Suze told me that she received book three and it's on the spike, which means she'll probably start working on it within the next week. I rolled right into book four. I started back up at the top with chapter one. This is going to be the Arsinoe Forest Alliance's book four. Of course, it's um, Bouverie and Maria's books. And this one's going to be Bound by Hope and Spirit. It's a Christmas book, so I think it's very, very apropos of a name. Sun Troa's probably freaking out like, oh my god, Jenna, I'm not even done book three's cover, and you've started book four. The time passage between books three and four is actually five years, 
So we are dealing with the Polish Ottoman law that's going on during the time. So I needed to double check some documentaries that I've been watching on that to get some names of experts in the field and whatnot that actually spoke during that documentary, the one I have in particular, that timeline here on YouTube has. I want to go and check those doctors' actual, like, journals and paper articles and stuff. For those of you who know, I am an English teacher by day, so I pretty much teach primary and secondary resources as a living, and I use that to my advantage as a writer of fiction by doing proper research, as if it's an academic project. So I will resource hop appropriately based on whoever was involved on the research of the project. Chapter one, uh, I have it. I'm trying to not be info dumpy because book three ends the way it ends, and then you just pick up five years later. It's going hi. Say, my name is Drina. I look a lot like Loki, but I'm older and I'm therefore mommy's special girl. Drina is our second eldest. Yes, she knows her name. Hi, baby girl. Hi, it's very good to see you, my friend. I'm well, and how are you? Good morning, it's good to see you. So, I'm going to go ahead and get my share screen rolling for us here. It's good to see you're doing pretty good there. I know it's been a little bit since I've seen you in class, so I wanted to double check your grad plan right quick and just review a few things. And I apologize, I have a kitty cat who just jumped up on my desk, so if you hear things go boom, that's why, she might knock things down. Um, we have a 100% completion there on grades uh, 9 ELA strands, really good job, and I do see where you're off to a strong start with the 10th grade strands, so pretty strong as well. Uh, you're being really good at improving your grade across grade levels, so I'd like to see you keep this B, since it's a step up from that C plus that you had on 9th grade. I also need to go in and check your work plan. Let's go ahead and see which project we were working on last. Is there a specific one you had already pulled up on your screen, or that you had project uh, questions about project-wise? Okay, now author tube. Now that I can kind of breathe for a second. Oh, goodness. Take my glasses off. Why don't I? Welcome to a Thursday. Yes, a Thursday. It's been a couple days since I've vlogged for NaNoWriMo because I haven't been able to write the last couple days. Um, spring break ended on Monday, April the 4th, and the last time I was able to vlog was on the 3rd. So, yeah, there's three days of no vlogging content. So you're probably going to see the vlogs divvied up into weeks um, and mostly just get my Thursdays through my Sundays. Mondays and Tuesdays are just too hectic at work and Wednesdays have become their own brand of chaotic. So much so that I had to rearrange what days I do things on my channel again. They moved some of my Brazil classes around. In those classes I kind of have to be there when, when they need me, not the other way around. My schedule serves my students, right? So Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays are kind of off limits, which has been working out great. The last three weeks, this is week three, so actually the last two weeks, I guess I should say, of doing this. Um, what I've been doing is something small on my channel on Thursdays. It's been Fiction in Five, which has allowed me to clip through it fast. I'm wrapping up season two of Fiction in Five today, finally. And since it's a Throwback Thursday episode, we're going to cover J.R. Ward, which <laughs> my husband rolled his eyes and chuckled about. He said, you're doing something old. Why? I said, it's Throwback Thursday deal, and he just chuckled again. But, yeah, my students are all working on finishing up some projects that they started before spring break, and I actually had one or two students show up whom I haven't seen since February. So it was really nice to start seeing them again. Um... My students have special circumstances and not just pertaining to learning disabilities or other types of disabilities. Some of them are in situations where they are caring for their younger siblings or their teen parents, or in the case of a couple of my kids, their parents passed away because of a certain thing unexpectedly while also trying to finish their senior year. It's a lot. Um, 
That's most of my American students. They kind of fall into one of those categories. My Brazil students, they are all private school students, so it's the other end of the spectrum, and they are way, way, way advanced. They are actually working on a dual diploma, so they'll graduate with an American degree or diploma and a Brazil diploma. A lot of them do aim to come stateside for university which is nice for them that they have that opportunity. And several of them are he going to be coming here full ride. So, and not necessarily because of scholarships and things that they've gotten through the school or through our government, but rather through theirs. I hope your first week of Camp Nano went well. Work kicked my butt post spring break ending. I haven't written anything since Sunday. Nothing. Absolutely, positively nothing for myself. I've tried to force myself. Didn't happen. So my fear is I am not going to transition well from book three to book four. I'm hoping the fur babies will allow me some peace so I can actually use the time during Shannon's live stream this morning to get some words in for Vovri and Maria. I have yet to even pick a scene that I want to include as the glimpse ahead that I normally put because at the end of book one you got a scene from a little bit from book two book two, you got a little bit of book three. I have no clue what I want to put in the front uh, from book four, what I want to front the book three kind of deal. So hopefully I'll get to that scene today. A lot of people have been saying they want to see the two archers, Mardigan and Bovary, get some one-on-one -on -one time. I have a scene in mind that might work, but it probably would give away way too many spoilers to be put in for that. Shannon and I go live here in about... Oh, 16 minutes. I gotta check my camera. It's okay. I'm not happy with my setup at all. My husband knows it. Um, so, we'll see. Your hair looks all kinds of curly this morning. April 9th. Uh, hello. <laughs> One week in the nano, and I'm smashing goals. Yay. Um, really good. I wanted to do, I knew I was going to have at least one week I would have to dedicate to going over St. Editor's first pass from book three. I knew that was coming my way. So I said, I bet with my wrists being as bad as they are, and while getting used to dictation, I bet I could easily do 5,000 words a week for three weeks. So I said, for Nana, let's do 15,000 words for book four. I ended up trashing some of what I pre-wrote for book four or had left over from book three because it literally no longer works thanks to one thing I changed at the end of book three. It has now caused a ton of errors. Yes, book four and five will be better. No, I don't know how to make it better at the moment. I know where point A starts. I know where... When did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes. Holy crap, Barrett, you can sing, dude. Holy crap! <gasps> I love this. Oh. <clears throat> you say the price of my love's not a price that you're willing to pay. You cry in your tea, but you curl in the sea when you see me go by. Why so? Hey, it's change teacher hat to writer hat day again. It's Thursday the 14th. 
I just finished a cut of the vlog y'all getting tomorrow. I am so far behind on everything. So, 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 so far behind. Most of my kids missed class due to testing this week, true. But at the same time, I was playing catch up on grades because, well, it's the end of the trimester. Some of you are like, wait a minute, Jenna, you're not pregnant. What's the trimester do in relation to school? Same term applies. Instead of having two terms, we go in the summer. Most of the kids who go in the summer are our private school kids in Brazil because their natural school year runs during the summer. It's not summer down there. It's a different season. <laughs> they're south of the equator, so their season's opposite ours. They're getting ready to go into their colder months, especially some of my kids who live in the more rural parts of the country. Um, at the same time... I'm just barely able to get anything done with my wrists. They are so, like, my whole hand, my whole hand looked like stuffed sausages, overstuffed sausages last night because my swelling was so bad. So I managed to get that under control. They're a little bit more limber. I'm probably going to end up dictating a lot of book four and then having to go back and revise as I dictate. I hate doing that. It feels like it's more time consuming, but we'll see. Um, Suze and her team still have book three. They're actually going to have it into next week, which scares me. I hope that's not because the book is as rough as I fear it is. Today is day one of the weekend writing retreat with Heart Breathings. I am missing out on most of today because of teaching, but I'm going to try and at least get through Lisa's sessions. I'm going to miss most of Tracy's, which upsets me. I'm going to miss seeing a lot of things because of teaching. I wish I could pivot into author stuff full time, but it's just not feasible. It's not going to happen. So we'll stay the course and do what we must and take care of ourselves as best as we can. I hope to do one more vlog that'll capture from this point onward until the end of the month. Above all, lovelies, don't give up. Every day's a new day. We've got this. Much love. Take care of you and yours. Like a lost